Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell the truth about silver. Today is Thursday, the 14th of January, 2021, and we're looking at a report published today highlighting yet another reason why the US dollar may have further to fall. So let's take a look. Before we look at this report, yesterday we published the second episode of our Platinum 2021 forecast, and we provide links to both episodes 1 and 2 below. Now earlier today we've seen both gold and silver reach the week's high, although both have fallen back a little. The time for us writing this is quite late in the United Kingdom, as it's 21.50, and gold is standing at the moment at $1,847 having been $10 higher a couple of hours ago, and silver stands at $25.55, having been as high as $25.91, attempting to reach that all-important $26 level. Now, it was announced earlier today that Joe Biden is about to announce himself later today, as far as America's concerned, and probably into the early hours as far as we in the UK are concerned, a near $2 trillion stimulus program once he is inaugurated on the 20th of January. This has resulted in a bond sell-off pushing up yields yet again, which normally would dampen gold and silver prices. But the thought of further future dollar devaluation has actually supported their price and begun to push them both back up again, albeit modestly for the moment. So let's take a quick look at the article in question. Reuters article dated 14th January 2021 written at 11.03 a.m. GMT, but updated 31 minutes ago, which is approximately 21.30. Headline, Biden planned to pump $1.9 trillion into pandemic-hit economy. President-elect Joe Biden will unveil a stimulus proposal on Thursday designed to jumpstart the economy during the coronavirus pandemic and help minority communities with around $1.9 trillion in aid. Biden campaigned last year on a promise to take the pandemic more seriously than President Donald Trump, and the package aims to put that pledge into action with an influx of resources for the coronavirus vaccine rollout and economic recovery. The incoming administration will work with Congress on the quick stimulus package after Biden takes office on January 20th, although the impeachment of Trump threatens to consume lawmakers in the initial weeks. The stimulus package has a price tag, of around $1.9 trillion, the New York Times reported, and includes a commitment for $1,400 stimulus checks, according to a source familiar with the proposal. Biden is expected to commit to partner with private companies to increase the number of Americans getting vaccinated. A significant proportion of the additional financial resources will be dedicated to minority communities. I think you will see a real emphasis on these underserved communities where there is a lot of hard work to do, said another transition official. Biden plans to introduce his package during a primetime address on Thursday evening, underscoring the seriousness of the topic, but he will have to compete for attention with the political drama in Washington. The Democratic-led House of Representatives voted to impeach Trump on Wednesday, making him the first president in US history to be impeached twice. Ten of his fellow Republicans joined Democrats to charge him with inciting an insurrection in last week's deadly rampage in the Capitol. The impeachment proceedings threatened to hang over the beginning of Biden's term. In a statement on Wednesday night, Biden said, I hope that the Senate leadership will find a way to deal with their constitutional responsibilities on impeachment, while also working on the other urgent business of this nation. The Democratic president-elect said last week the stimulus package would be in the trillions of dollars, and argued that more spending early in his term would reduce the long-term economic damage from the shutdown spurred by the pandemic. He also said there would be billions of dollars to speed up vaccine distribution, along with money to help reopen schools and for state and local governments to avoid laying off teachers, police officers and health workers. More than 380,000 people in the United States have died of COVID-19 during the pandemic were 22.7 million infected during that time. Pandemic-related shutdowns and restrictions have cost millions of US jobs. 
Although Trump himself supported $2,000 checks for Americans in the last round of stimulus, many of his fellow Republicans balked at the high amount, settling on $600 checks instead. Biden may face additional opposition from Republicans to his efforts, but he will be helped by the fact that his fellow Democrats will control both the House and the Senate. Biden's incoming White House economic adviser, Brian Deese, told Reuters on Wednesday the President-elect would press Congress to pass immediate stimulus measures and then turn to longer-term economic recovery measures related to health care and infrastructure. End of article. This is a big deal and also will probably not be the last stimulus package that Biden will announce. Moving forward, all of this will serve well for precious metal prices, regardless of any short-term impact. The writing is clearly on the wall for the early term of a Biden presidency. What we're uncertain of at present is the extent to which markets have already factored in this increased growth in potential stimulus. Needless to say, we shall see more money printing, and only if it does manage to turn the economy around, only then can the expenditure be justified economically without causing rampant inflation or an unacceptable increase in the national debt. Though many think that it will cause rampant inflation and an unacceptable increase in national debt. We shall be witnessing, perhaps not for the first time, but in real time, the efficacy of MMT, modern monetary theory, a subject we have produced many videos about in previous years, and particularly towards the beginning of last year and the end of the year before. So hold on to your gold and silver. There will undoubtedly be interesting times in the months and years ahead. As we've often said, 2020 will be the decade for precious metal prices. Now, earlier in the week, we also published videos on the value of the US dollar, or its forecasted fall, and they were entitled Dollar Declines in Spite of Economic Future Looking Brighter, US Dollar Decline and Debt Clock Part 1, and US Dollar Decline and Debt Clock Part 2. And again, we've listed these below so that you can have direct links and we'll also put them in the comment section. The dollar index incidentally is standing at 90.23, down 0.11 on the day, and so is only just managing to stay above the 90 level. Also we've noticed that equity markets in the United States have just moved marginally into negative territory, whilst they were relatively positive as far as UK and Europe were concerned before they closed. But again, we shall see what the after effects are after Biden has given his speech. So please do share what your thoughts are on these proposed stimuli. Do you think if Biden actually manages to get through his proposals through both houses, if the economy will rebound positively and quickly thereafter, or do you think that perhaps they will not have the sort of positive effect that the Biden administration and fellow Democrats are hoping that it will? And what are the long-term implications? Please do share your thoughts. Let us know what you think. But meanwhile, thank you so much for listening. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. Not forgetting to press the bell sign so that you're notified as and when those videos are actually published. And also tomorrow we shall be looking at a, a slightly different subject to gold and silver. I won't announce what that is yet. But And on Saturday, please do not forget, we have our normal weekly gold and silver price update. Thank you once again. So until tomorrow. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative. And if so, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so, 
Please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. Thank <laughs> you.